guys, this is Kelly. I am back with another process video. This layout is for Coco Daisy and it is for their sketch challenge. I just had the sketch up and it calls for three four by six elements. So when I look at sketches, I don't always follow them exactly how they are laid out. I sometimes do and sometimes I just take inspiration. So this is one of the layouts where I am taking inspiration from the sketch and the things that I am going to be taking from it are the primary thing is the diagonal design and then the second thing that I'm going to be doing is having somewhat of a grid layout. That is the, the sketch isn't quite a grid, but it reminded me enough of a grid, so that was what I took away from it. So in the kit, there is this gorgeous paper by Kaiser Craft, and it has some paint strokes on it, and it has some phrases that I thought would be appropriate for this photo. This photo is of my daughter. I know it's probably not the best photo, but it tells the story and I am going to be okay with using it. This summer, she is taking online geometry. Actually, at this very moment, she is at school taking the uh, final exam for this. And um, it has been not the easiest thing for her because number one, it's online. And I think sometimes things generally are easier when you can see someone working out the problems and talking about it, but she has really done well. It's um, also been a struggle because there's been work, you know, every day, the modules sometimes were due in like three days, sometimes seven. So you don't really know it until you finish it. And, you know, she plays softball, we've been out of town. so. I just wanted to do a layout and document this and just tell her that, you know, I'm really proud of the way she was able to handle it because, you know, what kid wants to take something during the summer? And we're just doing this because, you know, she wasn't placed in the right math and I didn't catch it right away and I needed to wait for her to catch up to where she should be when she could do something like this. So, um, because she wanted to continue playing softball. So, you know, it's kind of like a catch 22 there, but she's done it and she is caught up. And, you know, again, like I said, I'm so proud of her. So the phrases that I've cut out, there were two sheets from Kaiser Craft and I haven't really worked with a lot of Kaiser Craft and I've loved this line. And, um, I just cut out a couple of the things that I thought would work well and the pink you got this I thought was perfect. Now this paper that I am going to back the layout on is one of my favorites. It is a Coco Daisy exclusive. It is gorgeous. It is like a pink aqua, a little bit of uh, cream and dark gray marble. It is just gorgeous and I thought that it would make the perfect background paper on the edge. I, I really wanted this to have a clean cut look. So this is a Project Life card that I am trimming out and I thought the typewriter would be appropriate. And on the little sheet out of the typewriter, it just says, hello. And the yellow sheet says, you got this girl and you know, never give up. So I thought all of those phrases were appropriate. And then the four by six card, the, you know, the grade card, I mean, you know, you can't get more appropriate than that. So my plan is to journal on the four by six uh, report card. And I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna type on it at this point or if I'm gonna handwrite it. And I pulled out another four by six card because I thought this uh, Monday, or actually it's Sunday through Saturday, I thought that I might be able to incorporate that somewhere, but it was just a little bit too long. So I am going to save that. And then I'm going to use that yellow strip that I have left over to help form my title. Um, I, like I said, I really wanted to keep this as something, you know, of a, more of a grid fashion. And I am just going to place my title with these really pretty white puffy stickers that were included in the kit. And it's just going to be a simple title that says online geometry. So what I'm trying to do is figure out sizing 
the nice thing about this grid is it's a loose grid. So, you know, not everything is going to be the same size. I'm just going with whatever looks good. So I'm just adjusting my letters because I wanted the uh, that little grid box to be a little bit bigger so that it kind of stair steps down from the You Got This. And I'm just going to finish off the title with these great tile stickers from Evalicious. And like I said, it's a simple title, Online Geometry. So I am going to put those on wax paper. That is one of my favorite techniques. It's not mine. I saw it on a couple of video, you know, a couple of other scrapbookers. Probably, probably Mercy Tierra was the first one that I saw it on, but it was years ago. And it, it's just one of my favorite techniques and just on how to get the letters placed. And even though I didn't quite get it done exactly how I wanted to, it, it at least gets me in the ballpark so that I'm not, you know, repeatedly moving the letter stickers around. So I am going to try to get that wood veneer piece on the layout, but I'm going to tell you now, it doesn't make it. I tried really hard, but I just, there was something I just didn't like about it. So I am going to go ahead and uh, commit to trimming a couple of the other pieces up. Just like I said, I don't want them to be the same size. I want them to be a little bit different. And I, you know, just to keep the loose grid going. So I have come back the next morning to finish this. And I'm going to trim my cardstock. I just trim off half an inch on both sides. It's easier for me to do it that way before I actually um, mount anything on the paper. Otherwise, I have to trim off like a quarter of an inch on each side. And for me, sometimes the more that I use my trimmer, the more trouble I can get into because I will misjudge something. So I would rather make two cuts than four. So I'm just going to place everything out like I had it and go ahead and start getting some things stuck down. But before I stick them down, I kind of thought that it needed something to, to pull everything together and to jazz it up. So I'm taking a very fine, I think this is a 0 .01 uh, pen and just outlining around the edges of all of the boxes just to help reinforce that grid and to give it a little extra definition, a little extra something for the layout. I thought about sewing. I love to sew on my layouts. It's not, you know, that I didn't want to actually sew. I just felt like the pin look was more appropriate for this page since it's a school page. And, you know, sometimes that's what I do when I think, or that's what, those are the things that I think about when I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for the page. It's what, what looks what's going to look right? What's going to have meaning? What is going to go with the theme? And a lot of times it's not going to matter. But with this one, I felt like the hand writing definitely worked or the hand drawn lines definitely went better with this. So I'm going to go ahead and get things stuck down. These are my favorite types of grids. Look, no T-square ruler. I am just eyeballing this. You guys, this is like big. But it's so easy when it's like this because it doesn't matter if something is just a little bit off. So I really had fun with this and I'm definitely going to do something like this again. So I'm pulling out my puffy stickers, trying to figure out what I want to go and where I want to put it. And I kind of had a thought. I put down that arrow, but I wasn't sure. I'm pulling out my stamps, looking back at the stamps. And I saw that the one of the exclusive stamps has a squiggly arrow. And I'm thinking about stamping it, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to keep on, you know, putting maybe some of the puffy stickers around. But I'm going to tell you, they're going to move. And as I'm, you know, as I'm contemplating, do I want to stamp? Do I want to, um, you know, where do I want to place things? I, I try to just push on because a lot of times I will figure out something or I like the way that something works and then it'll just fall into place. But for these, I end up taking off just about every puffy sticker or moving them and um, changing my mind. Even the little heart that I put on top of the hello, I end up changing the color. So since I can't figure it out, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to messy outline the white cardstock as well. 
the background paper, that marble, has that dark gray, and I just felt like by outlining the white layout, not only would it frame my layout further, but it just brings in some of that dark gray. It helps to tie in the cards that I've outlined. The typewriter that I cut out of that uh, Project Life card has like a dark outline and the paper is a little bit messy. So it's just little things that I can do to help pull my layout all together. So this is an idea for you if you think you might want to stamp but you aren't quite sure. So what I did is I just took a scrap piece of paper and I stamped an arrow and I just put it on top of my page in a couple of places just to see if I thought I would like it. And then I thought to myself, self, if you're going to stamp one, you should probably stamp three. So I went ahead and I stamped out a couple more just to see where I would put them on my page. So this is where I'm thinking, okay, um, I like the idea of three arrows. I've got to figure out where to put it. I didn't like the arrow on top of the typewriter. So I'm going to walk away for a second and just kind of contemplate. And I decided to take the puffy sticker off and I am going to stamp the arrow beside the you got this girl. And this just further, you know, brings attention to the details, to the, um, to the sentiments, to the title and I just I love it. This layout might be my favorite that I've made so far with the kit. So I'm going to take the Chamel date stamp and I'm just covering up the date because it really doesn't matter. This was like you know what she did on a daily basis. I am not kidding. She may have had like two or three days where she did not do geometry this summer and that was it. So um, I just put July and again, now I'm bringing back out the puffy stickers and I'm going to be able to put them in their homes. So I'm going to pull out this uh, arrow that says, oh joy, because sarcasm is at its finest here. And I decided to type my journaling on the 4x6 card. I had thought about doing... Uh, handwritten, handwritten journaling because I really like that, but I felt like with all the different fonts um, that typed would be better and the journaling also, um, what am I trying to say? I, I, I didn't want to, I, I was afraid that my handwriting on that journaling card was going to get lost because of all of the type font and the print on the journaling card. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, this is my layout. This is, um, again, for the sketch challenge. I hope you guys join us. This was a really fun sketch. So I've got close-ups at the end, and I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.